yo, yo, what is going on there, my dudes? It is your boy Trapgrass here, coming at you guys today with the long-awaited Q&A video. If you haven't seen the video I made, I think it was three days ago now, I made a video shouting out to all you guys saying, if you have any questions for me, just go ahead, leave them in the comment section down below. And you guys actually surprised me and you came back with a ton of amazing questions. Some of them really funny. I picked my favorites. Well, I guess I'm, I'm actually just going to pick my favorites now. Fuck, I should probably get Twitter opened up here. My bad. Fuck, Twitter, what am I even talking about? YouTube. Comments on my YouTube channel. Alright, so we're gonna get right into the questions, uh, just right away. I don't really got anything else to talk about, so we're gonna get right into the questions. So, question number one. Martin Gulpen, I, I don't know if it's pronounced Gulpin, Gulpin, whatever. Uh, Q&A. Why do you work at a gas station? I don't really have a real answer for this one, other than the fact that I'm kind of lazy at heart, not gonna lie. I like to think that I'm a productive person, at least when I'm sitting at my desk not doing anything physical. That's when my productivity comes out. But I picked up a job at a gas station, honestly, on a whim. It was just, I needed a job, this place is hiring, you're gonna get a job here, and it just kind of stuck. I've been working there for about a year now. It's not really for me, and it's not exactly the career path that I choose. On to question number two. Alright, question number two. Joystick Jordan asked, how did you do your intro? How did I do my intro? Question number three is from Liam Coyne. Shout out to Liam Coyne. This is a buddy of mine. Would you rather have your cheese slide back or never eat McDonald's again? And by McDonald's, I'm sure you guys know he means McDonald's. Uh, that's a fucking tough question, but I'm not gonna lie. 110, 50 million fucking percent. I need that G-slide back. David Vonderhart, why the fuck did you take the G-slide back? As I've said in previous rants, you threw all of the competitive players this fucking amazing trick that they had to learn, practice, take time out of their normal practice schedule to learn the G-slide, learn the G-slide spots. They threw it into their competitive gameplay and then you just take it out from them, you take it away, you just take it away, chuck it away, throw it up, crumble it up, throw it in the fucking garbage, and it's gone. And now we have to learn completely different new uh, routes, map structure, not really, but like still, come the fuck on, man. Alright, we're gonna come straight into the next question right here, and this one really makes me laugh. Um, King is back 914 asks, would you play forever, I mean, I guess he means, would you forever play Call of Duty Ghost for a million dollars? Call of Duty Ghost? You mean this this fucking game right here? That that piece of shit? That fucking piece of shit that they made with battlefield sized maps? Shitty guns? The slowest paced movement of any Call of Duty game I have ever fucking played in my life? Yeah, I'd probably do it. Alright, the next question we're gonna get into today, my dudes, is gonna be from It's Ants, and he says, Q&A, what made you want to start YouTube? And this question uh, is getting me a little bit excited. So, basically, I, I think I've said this in a couple other videos before, but I've been watching YouTube for a really long time, and when I say I watch an unhealthy amount of YouTube, I mean, I watch an unhealthy amount of fucking YouTube. Uh, I started watching YouTube, actually, my buddy Joe, he introduced me to a couple of YouTube channels, I think the main ones were Kasim G, uh, Philip DeFranco, and a couple other channels like that, Shane Dawson was one of them, and we would just watch mad YouTube all the time, I started subscribing to my own channels, I got lost in the vast universe of Call of Duty um, channels blowing up in the 2009 and that era and stuff like that and ever since then I was 100% addicted and recently earlier this year I just kind of thought to myself Austin what the fuck are you doing wasting all your time just watching these guys do exactly what you think about doing and what you think that you could do just as good as them if not better add something new to the table I don't know 110% I have not regretted a second of it Every single moment of it has been fun. It's been amazing hanging out with you dudes and showing you guys my content. And yeah. Hey, Nicole. I need the dog for this one. All right, my dudes. So we're going to jump right into the next question. The next question is coming from TriQ. And he is asking, are you the guy who plays Shaggy in the real life Scooby-Doo movies? I don't know if I really know what you're talking about. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Zoinks. All right, my dudes. We're going to jump right into the last question of the day today. The day today. All right, my dudes. All right, my dudes. Woo. Bug. All right, my dudes, we're gonna jump right into the last question of the day, and the last question is gonna come once again from Liam Coyne. Props to you, brother. This guy just blew up my comment page. He's my best friend. I told him to. But this guy's gonna ask, have you been having regular, reg have you been having regular bowel movements? Uh, I don't actually know. Let me check. <sighs> Yep, seems pretty good to me. Alright, my dudes, thank you guys so much for coming by the channel and checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please, as always, leave it a like, leave it a comment, leave it a subscribe. I will see you guys in a new video coming soon. Later, dudes!
face.